So what's the best way to stay afloat if you're in an emergency situation in deep water? There is uh, treading water, which we can't really do in this pool, but that's where you do like an egg beater type kick, a breaststroke, half breaststroke kick type, type action, uh, or there is what we call a survival float. So a survival floats up on your back like this. All right, now the advantage of treading water is you can, you're a bit more vertical and you can see what's going on but it definitely uses more energy than a survival float. So if you've got to stay, stay put for a long time in a rip, wherever, survival float's the way to go. So you just get on your back, little skulls, little kicks if you need to, doing just enough to stay up. All right, so that's what's taught in a lot of our school programs and in every easy swim level, we're doing some sort of survival, survival float activity because uh, we know that that's the best chance we can give kids to survive in deep water.